YouTube, it's your boy Ashton Edwards from 30 Bound Kennels. We are back again. It's a beautiful day out here in Fort Wayne. The girls are outside, the sun is shining. So I pulled the track hawk out the garage and we're gonna do a couple pulls downtown. But while we doing that, we are gonna talk about why I stopped breeding French Bulldogs in 2023. We are gonna get into all the nitty gritty about it. Let's go. All right, so why did I stop breeding French Bulldogs in the year 2023? That question can be answered in many ways, man, because it was a lot of reasons why I stopped breeding French Bulldogs. Part of it was because the market is just too saturated. There are too many people breeding French Bulldogs in the United States of America in 2023. I went to my vet, a real small vet, one morning on a Saturday, and it was like 10 C-sections, all French Bulldogs from people who I've never seen in the dog community before. And I'm just sitting here wondering like, where the hell did all y'all come from? You know, the more the merrier, I guess, but like, where did y'all come from? And who told y'all it was cool to breed dogs? Another reason is just, if you ain't got paid, like serious deep pockets it's going to be hard for you to break into that industry because it's the fads move too fast when i first got into the french bulldog everybody was chasing after isabella that was like 2020 2021 everybody was chasing isabella a year later by the time i was able to produce my own isabella everybody had already moved on everybody talking about fluffies everybody talking about husky coys wire hair hairless and every you know the the stock of the isabellas pretty much it wasn't there no more because everybody already had them slow your ass down everybody already had them so then it's like how do you keep up as somebody just trying to break into that market when it's so hard to stay on the up and up as an average person then i can't even begin to tell you about all the health issues I ran into, man. Hemophiliacs, uh, dogs with their anuses protruding out of their back. What is y'all doing in the street? Get out the street! It's like people ain't got no act right downtown Fort Wayne today. Dang. You gonna have to wait, bruh. Man, alright now. Stop playing with me. But it was just a cumulative of things. And they're kind of already the heavyweights already got the market sold up, which I can't be mad at that because in the American bully game, I'm one of the heavyweights. And so one would say I had the market sold up, but I still make certain things accessible. Like there was DNA in those French bulldogs that was going for 100,000. And that's another thing about the market is it is too wishy-washy. I witnessed in 365 days, man, 365 days, the value of fluffy Frenchies went from people paying 100 to 120 bands. Now you can get a full fluffy, a full visible fluffy for five or six thousand dollars. That's madness to me, man. That's madness. Imagine how sick those people feel who paid 120 bands for a dog and now that junk only worth a five piece chicken nugget. I'll be about ready to do something to somebody. I can't even lie to y'all. I'll be about ready to do something to somebody. How do you justify that? And I'm asking the, the Frenchie breeders because I don't consider myself a Frenchie breeder anymore. How do you justify 120K dropping to 5K in 365 days? You cannot justify it. In the American bully community, prices have pretty much stayed the same. They took a little jump during the pandemic. But people were still expecting to pay on average $3,500 to 10 bands for a French bulldog. Not French Bulldog, I, I apologize, an American bully. But with the Frenchies, it's like they just all over the place. So y'all tell me in the comments, is the French Bulldog 
going to make it the next couple years? Is that breed going to be able to be sustained within the next couple years? I think it will for certain people, but I think it just kind of got a little too big for its bridges. You know what I mean? I feel like there are just too many people breeding those dogs. My dumb ass ain't know it was a red light. Ooh, wee. I'm sorry, baby. I ain't mean to scare you, baby. Slow down. She was mad as hell, y'all. Y'all seen her? You see her face in there? She mad. Either she mad at me or she mad at her husband. She might be mad at old Jerry. I don't know. Hopefully she ain't mad at me. I'm just trying to have fun, Miss Gladys. I ain't gonna take off, Miss Gladys. My bad, Miss Gladys. I ain't mean to make you mad. Look at the little hatchback pulling up. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Oh, it's a Subaru. Same difference. So y'all tell me, is the French Bulldog going to make it in America in five to ten years? Or are we seeing an era? Or are we seeing the end of an era? I'm finna get behind this, this this little old body charger. Cause I know he gonna try to impress me. Look at him, he already speed. Slow down, nephew. Let me catch up to you. I don't know. I feel like the American bully is doing nothing but progressing more and more. But the French Bulldog is just getting a little too creative, man. I, this, this isn't me hating. You know, because a lot of the people that's making real money in the French Bulldog world, I'm cool with them. But I just, I don't foresee it. Like, hairless? Wire hair? Husky Koi? Pink? Isabella? Merle? Oh, don't tell me you want to raise, baby boy. Oh, yeah, I got to. Sorry, y'all. I ain't want to. I, I gotta put this junk in track mode, and I'm fenced to leave him. Yeah, baby boy, you already know what's gonna go on. I'm fenced to leave you. As soon as that light turn green, I got to. Y'all know that track called Live Up When It Take Off? Yeah, you did that. Shout out to my boy Kodak Blizzak, my boy. I ain't want to, but I had to. So y'all tell me in the comments below, is the French Bulldog gonna make it? Is it not? All right, peace.